Hello Year 7s. Uh, this is the booklet that you got yesterday. Uh, atoms, Elements, Compounds and Periodic Table. If you haven't got this booklet, you need to check your emails dated the 20th of April and download this booklet. On this booklet is some information and you will need it to use that information to answer the questions. So what I've done here is I've answered all those questions. I am barely read all the answers. And what I would like you to do then is pause the video now to tick off and make sure that you've got everything correct. So I'd like you to do that now. So now you've checked the first 14 questions. What you can see here is our particle diagram for chlorine, which has chlorine in the middle, the symbol for chlorine, Cl, and surrounding it are our electrons. Okay, now here we've got the particle diagram for sodium atom. So we've got Na, which is a symbol in the middle, and around the outside we have our electrons in the shells. Okay, so in the middle, in our nucleus, we've got protons and neutrons orbiting in ship, what we call shells, are our electrons. And that's really important for the next lesson. Well, the lesson that you're going to do. So I'm just going to let you pause the video now so you can check your answers on the for the table. And likewise, you can pause for this next set of answers. So either correct your answers or add to your table. So moving on then. So what we're going to do then today is we're going to look at what we call the atomic model and the electron configuration. Now, this is our atom. You will need to label this. You will need to think about what this middle bit is called. You will need to think about what these red particles are called. Now they have a plus sign on them, which tells you they've got a positive charge. So that means they can only be one thing. Now, we also have our green particles here. So these are something else. And you'll need to label them. And then around the outside, we have got something else. So I'm just going to let you pause the video and let you label those or think about it. Then I'll verbally give you the answers, but I will expect you to get this written in. So what we've got here then in the middle is a nucleus. This is a proton. The green ones are neutrons and these are electrons. If you're worried about how to in insert text, all you need to do is go to insert on the ribbon at the top and we will insert the text box. You might get several different options. I'm just going to choose that one. That pops up there and I'm just going to quite simply Move it. Oh, to where I want it. I'm not going to panic. I'm going to get rid of all that and I'm going to put my new text in electrons. Sorry, that's, I'll just do that as nucleus. Okay, I'm going to resize my box just a little bit and then I'm going to move it to here. Okay, if you're having problems, if you click on that, no, it's not doing it, but you might get wrap text, you might get, so if you click on this bit here, wrap text, what you're looking at is in front of text. If you have it in front of text, you can place it basically anywhere. So, off you go. So you should be able to do that now. Now, what I'd like you to do is read through this text, okay? But before you actually start to answer these questions, I've sent a number of links in the, in the uh, email. So the first link will take us to a BBC Bite Size video here, 
which will talk us through and run you through and revise chemistry and its atomic structure. The second link will take you to what is an atom. And it is a video that you saw yesterday, or should have clicked through and watched yesterday to help you with yesterday's work. And then it's just good to watch for good revision. It's only a couple of minutes long, four minutes long, so you're fine. And then this video, this video that I've highlighted in your email is really important because it talks you through how to draw electron configurations. So what I would do is pause this YouTube presentation and play this video before you watch me work through some worked examples. So at the end here, it asks you to do some electron configuration drawing practice. So what we're going to do then is we're going to do a beryllium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do beryllium. I'll do this one on the sheet and show you how to do this in Word. So you can just do all these in Word. And then we'll do, I don't know, maybe oxygen. And I'll do that on paper. So you might want to do, you might find it easier doing it on paper. So we've got to look for beryllium. So what we need to do then is we need our periodic table. If we go down to our periodic table, I've printed one off. Beryllium here. What Brilliant does is it tells you that it is in row number one, which means it's got, okay, sorry, it's in, <laughs> getting confused, it's the wrong way around, that's why. Uh, it tells you that it's in group two, which is telling you that it's got two electrons in its outer shell. And it's telling you that it's in period two, and it's got two shells. It's in period two, because there is only two atoms here that are in period one. And these are hydrogen and helium. These are the only atoms with one shell. So beryllium is in period two, so it's got two shells, and it's got two electrons in its outer shell. So let's go back. Here we are. Oops. Here we are. So if we're doing beryllium, okay, then we can insert, start inserting the shapes. So what I'm going to do is insert a circle here. I'm just going to move that there. I'm going to leave that with no fill. And I'm also going to place in here, insert text box. I'm going to insert that text box. Insert text box that I'm building in. And that is BE. So, so I'm going to take the outline off that one. There it is. I'm going to drop that in there, BE. Now what I can do is flip that up a little bit, is I can start to draw my electrons on. So I'm going to insert another Circle. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. There we are. And once again, I'm going to have no fill. There we are. And then I'm going to copy, um, paste. I'm going to make another circle slightly bigger place that around. The reason why I've drawn two on there is because I've got two shells. 
Now I know that I've got two shells and I also know that because it's in group two it's got two electrons in the outer shell. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to insert text box and I'm going to put a capital X there to represent the electrons. So here we go. There's X. I'm going to make it nice and big. And there we are. I'm going to make it bold. And I don't want an outline. No outline. So and I can now move that one to where I want. There we are. So it's got two in the outer one. So I'm going to move two, two to there. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to send it to the back. So the line will go through it. Now what I'm going to do then is I know I've got to copy because I know I've got two in the outer shell here. And the inner show, according to my rules, the maximum I can have here is two. So just send that one back to the back. There we are. So copy, paste, paste. I'm going to put, send that to the back. Sorry if this is a bit long winded, but there we are. There's another one. And send that to the back. And I'm going to place that one. Oops. I'm not, I'm not so happy with this new version of Word with these green lines that suddenly appear. I hope you would be formatting that anyway. Oh, let's see. Here we are. There we are. Not perfect, but you know, I'll live with it. Now, when we do these, what we need to recognize is that we try to, okay, put them opposite each other. So, oops. So we don't mix them up. Okay. So, there we go. So, now we try and get them opposite to them and we try to put them into pairs. And what I'm actually gonna do now is do it slightly, I'll, I'll do oxygen. And I'll do this using a visualizer and it might be a bit easier to draw it. In fact, it is easier to actually just draw it. So into our visualizer, we're doing oxygen. Oxygen's the second one. So we can see here our oxygen here is in group six and it's in period. Well, that's the first period. This is our second period. And it's in group six. So that means it's got six electrons in its outer shell. It's got two outer shells. So the first thing we can do is we can draw our nucleus and put the symbol in, oxygen. And then we can draw our two shells because it is, it is in our second period. So there's our two shells. There we go. Now it says it's got it's in group six, that means it's got six electrons in its outer shell. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're my six electrons in the outer shell. Now I've got to fill this one up. That's got to have a maximum of two. I've got to fill it up. So that's got two. So that's oxygen. Now, it is simpler if you draw it, so I'll do one more. So if we go back to our uh, example, we've got silicon. So silicon 
is actually in period three. So silicon, silicon is in period three, so it's going to have, that's correct, three outer shells. So if we go back, we are doing silicon. So there's the nucleus. A silicon symbol for it and we can say it is in period three so it's got three shells one two three shells now silicon as you can see here is actually in group four that means it's got four electrons in the outer shell. One, two, three, four. That means the others are actually full. So following the rules that you saw in the video where it goes two, eight, eight, two. Okay, for the first 20 elements, then that means this one must be full with eight. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this inner shell was before with two, one, two. Okay, and that's the top electron configuration for silicon. Okay, now I'd like to have a go at doing the others, either on paper or on in your, I'm just trying to find the, here we go, uh, either on paper or doing it this way. Try to keep the crosses separate from each other. And when there's quite a lot on it, it's useful to pair them up at 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock. Like you could see, oops. On this one here. So the, they're paired up when you've got lots of them it's best to pair them up okay and set them off at 12 o'clock three o'clock six o'clock and nine o'clock so good luck